Good morning, how are we doing? Happy Sunday everyone. Hope you're well, there's no music at the moment in case you're wondering. At least there shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm going to start a new map. So I've kind of loaded a lot of settings that I want. Um, we just need to randomly generate the map. I'm going to do it on hard difficulty and I'm going to use the, um, the uh, what's it called? Expanded Industries or something mod. Hang on one second. The missus wants me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to go with a very large map. Um, we're going to go one-to-one -one format. Just keep it rectangular. Um, I've put cities on medium rather than high. Just because I want, because I know with the mod that we're using, these cities get pretty big. So I thought, well, let's not have them too close together. So we go medium, but then industries have put high. So we've got a lot of choice about, I mean, they will get in the way a little bit, but at least we've got a lot of choice because of the, the other uh, industry mod, which makes the industry chains harder. I thought we would need a lot more choice because we have to start piecing things together a bit. So that's my choice. Um, and also I've bumped the water up because I'm going to go for temperate climate. Um, let's refresh that. I'm going to go for temperate climate. Um, I kind of want, I kind of want to do something like this where we've got some potential waterway support, you know, I don't want to have like a uh, no shipping. So I thought maybe some large bodies of water, like there's one on the coast, uh, one on the coast here. Maybe there's quite a lot of hills. <laughs> Bit concerned about all the hills, not going to lie. Uh, Ponto Boy, thank you for four months. And Audi, thank you for 42, by the way. Let's see what we get. Well, that's a bit nasty. Uh, let's see. We've got one, two coastal towns. There's four coastal towns along there. That's not so bad. One up in here. So a lot of these industries might be tricky because you've got to keep jumping over the water all the time. Maybe it's a bit too much water. I don't know. Well, now we just get one river, obviously. <laughs> uh, Jordy, thank you for Bullseye 50 months. You're welcome, mate. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like that's not enough water, I don't think. It's going to have to go back up. Um, healiness, I guess, is okay. It just makes it more expensive. Don't like that. Crikey. Probably want at least three cities on the water. So we can connect stuff. Oh, that's, what's this then? We've got one here. I wonder if you can get ships down that channel. Well, it's too narrow. It's quite narrow there. I wonder if you can get two shipping lanes. I'd, I, bet you, I bet you can't. Slip the Otter. Thank you for four years. Happy anniversary, dude. Reduce the hills if you don't like it. I, it makes it more interesting. I don't just want a flat map. It makes it more interesting with hills. It just makes it more expensive. I wish you could control the width of these waterways a bit more. You like Factorio, you can control things to a stupid degree. Wait a minute, we just had that one. I swear we just had that. What if I start messing about with letters? Hang on. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> I swear this is not changing. This is an illusion. I've seen the same pattern come up about six times now. This game is lying to us. <laughs> It's got like six maps, and every time he changes this, he goes, Oh, number four. And you press reset with a load of letters. Oh, that's number two. And it's secretly got like six maps to pick from. That's not too bad. It's just that water through there. Three cities over here, with a lot of mountains in the way. <clears throat> yeah, let's try it. Let's try that, actually. Let's put in squirrel. Oh, that's a rubbish map. I don't like that. Let's put in puppies. 
It's not too bad. A lot of hills up here, though. Like a lot of hills. That looks like a tricky map. Poppies is difficult, but we all know that. Uh, who else can we try? Lol, Sokia. Oh, we see. Don't like that at all. Tam o Shanta. Tam o Shanta map's not bad. A lot, lot of thin waterways here. <laughs> Uh, should we go with uh, Hannah? What's Hannah got? Mm, not loving Hannah map. Rome. Rome's very simple. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right at all. Right, who else can we go for? Um, hmm. It's a very large map, so they might be able to make... I, don't, I, I can't tell Rome. I can't tell. Saw me. Super size, semi small map. I would, I would say. Let's try uh, Whiteland. That's Whiteland. Yeah, don't like that. What if we go like Squirrel One or Squirrel Two? I feel like these letters are in some way controlling the width of these rivers and stuff. You see that? Like, they're all really, like, thin, rivery bits. There's, there's definitely some significance here. All right, let's go with McDonald's. What's McDonald's map like? That's not a bad map, actually. Too many hills up here, I think, but you got one, two. You've got a nice coastal shipping kind of thing going on. I like that. And even down here. What if you mess with the hills? There you go. It's not so bad. Easy to remember, Seed, yeah? <laughs> that's not bad. That's, that's potentially a goer. I wish you could get some variation between here and here. You know? I'd like more hills than that, but not as many hills as that. Super mountainous. Look. Holy smoke, look at that. Morning, Paul. Try Chris Capalal. <laughs> yeah, you would say that, Chris. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Um, so that's our seed. I'm just going to put that into the command. One second. Seed is that. Uh, industries high. Um, Right, I'll save that. So if I now run that TF2 command, we should get that. Very large map, uh, temperate climate, cities on medium, industries on high, difficulty hard, seed McDonald's, and there's a list of the mods which I've put into a brand new collection. Well, puppies, you didn't respond for ages because you had no power, so I left my browser open, dude. Feel free to edit it back to the same command. It's not my fault you chopped the power into your house, even though you say you didn't. Right. Um, put that into the title. So the command's in there. Now then, we go next. And then 1870 sounds good. Um, we're going to go with hard difficulty. And then we're going to be climate temperate, environment temperate. I'm not really sure what the difference is between those two. European vehicles, European town names, hard difficulty. And that's the list of mods, but that's in a collection. Yeah. That's where we're going. So we've got... In this one, we've got the more industry levels and natural town growth, which we had in the previous one. But we've now got industry expanded, which makes the ind the industrial chain a bit more tricky. Um, I've also added like A380 planes and 777s seven, and 747s. So they've been added. Found a few more there. Uh, took out a couple of redundant mods to do with 
Gerda bridges because we've kind of already got it anyway. Um, what else have we got? Kept the Deutsche Bahn trains. That'd be nice. Tunnel types. Snug squeal. Bulldozer. Obviously, this is the most important mod in TF2. Right there. So, yeah. But that's all on the uh, thingy anyway. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's do it. Right. First thing is find a profitable route. Hard difficulty, I assume, means we're not going to get as much profit out of each line. I'm probably going to have to keep on top of the costs a bit more. Is my guess. Don't know. Never played it on hard difficulty. NHS, thank you for gifting a sub to MDGI. Welcome back. Thank you, NHS. Slip, thank you for four years. Chris, thank you for the dollar. We should have come with seed. Ooh -wee. It's a whole different game. Yeah, I can believe it. I'll probably go bankrupt. I don't expect to have $20 billion at the end of this. Hard can be very brutal. You're not you're not filling me with uh, hope here. <laughs> Am I going to go bankrupt in the first ten years? Right, pause it. Let's have a look at what we created. First thing I'm going to do is save it because when we go bankrupt, we can come back. Uh, I call the previous one wed wine. What should we call this one? Um, let me close my browser. We don't need that. No, we can't call it dry wine. Let's call it Pacific. Uh, let's call it one Pacific map. Definitely. What? What do you mean, Alex? It was just a random name. Just a random name. Oh, fish. Wait, what? That's the weirdest fish sound I've ever seen. Listen to this. That's an impressive fish. Are we in Chernobyl? <laughs> Chernobyl map confirmed. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, silver mill. Ah. Is that because we're in a different climate now? Ooh, coffee beans. Two coffee berries, one coffee bean. Have we got oil? Please tell me we've got oil. We haven't got oil, have we? We must have oil. That's crude. We have got oil. Let uh, them since Anne's oil sand mine. So what now? Oil sand? What's oil sand? It needs oil sand. No, it produces oil. Slag. It produces slag. Yeah, but what do you do with oil sand? I mean, don't act like you're an expert on oil sand, guys. Come on. Don't sit there going, well, obviously sand with oil. Like, as if you've ever handled the stuff. What what you do with it? <laughs> Don't pretend to be an expert when you're not. Catch you out. Silver mill, we've done that. Wait, what? You take grain and it produces plastic. Bioplastic. I like this. I just went for a new very large tropical map yesterday, and now you start a new moderate map, so we kinda swapped places here. The only confusing thing is when you bulldoze while I'm bulldozing as well, double snug Z hype. Well, Baz, if you want to play the same game with the same mods while I'm playing and watching a stream, you've got yourself to play. That's like. That's like going eye racing while watching somebody stream eye racing and getting confused by the engine sound. A sandy marble mine. Marble. Ooh. Marble goes here. What the heck is this? Slag 
What's that, up, Jack? That's an or. Today this is going to be my voice as I've partly lost my voice. Luckily I'm now on holiday for a week. School hype. Oh dear. Sounds like you're ill. Slag, or sand, or marble, and stone. How the heck do you read that? Produces construction material. It lubricates and deburs at the same time. Useful in a very specific oil sand. Yeah. Guys, what? how do you read this? Is it slag, or sand, or marble, and stone? Or is it marble and stone, or sand, or... Like, how do you read this? Yeah, I know it's an or, but what's the... But there's no brackets to tell me what's good. Is it a case of slag will produce construction material? Or sand will produce construction material? Or these two will produce construction material? Or is it a case of this, or this, or this, and that? So you always have to have that. Do you always have to have stone? That's what I don't get. This, this is ambiguous. It must have stone. Right, so stone plus one of those three. See? If you'd have put a bracket there, like you're supposed to, in mathematics, then it would have been obvious. Wait, any of them? Any of them? Joku? That's not what chat's saying. The chat's saying it's always stone. And one of the others. You see how you see how ambiguous that is? Right, somebody needs to figure that out before we start connecting to things like that. What's this one? Ah, now this one is meat or coffee beans or alcohol produces food. Look at the mod page. Well, that's what I've got you for, Gordon. You're a viewer who's not doing anything right now, so you can go and look for me. And then just let us know. Thanks. Meat processing plant. Livestock or fish, or two fish, produces... See, I like that. That makes sense. Like, one, one massive cow or a couple of fish makes up one slab of meat. How do I turn the tutorial off? <laughs> All these different issues are in the campaigns. It makes a lot more sense to use them once you do the campaigns. Oh, okay. I'll go and play the campaign. No way I won't. No. <laughs> We've got a mod that makes the industry chains more difficult. That's um, that. Campaign doesn't have that mod. Silver. All stuff. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Ooh. Coffee beans. Look at the size of the town. 58 people. 58. No, I'm not crazy. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this size of map, to be honest, at the moment. Crazy. It's going to be bad enough with the difficulty we're at. That's the one I'm a bit confused about. This from the mod page requires one slag, one sand, or one marble, plus one stone. Produces to Right, so it is. It's stone and one of those. So there's always got to be stone. There can be any of those. Thank you. Are you ready for the sushi? Right, well, we don't want to start in a corner of the map, do we? Let's see if we can find two cities with a simple supply. Okay, that one and that one both require con map. There's a con map there. That requires fuel. It would be nice to get into oil. Early game oil might get us going. That's fuel. That's fuel. Okay, these are looking promising. Crude, there's a refinery. I need somebody that makes fuel. Okay, let's see what the consumers are. 
like that. Right in front of me. I'm blind. Okay, this is looking good. Right, so we've got refinery. An oil refinery, a fuel refinery, and we've got crude oil. Crude oil there as well when we need a bit more. We've got everything we need there to make fuel. And then we've got a city that needs fuel and another city that needs fuel. I like that. That looks good to me. Now the road network is already here, but it wouldn't be difficult to link there to get those cities communicating. Oil sand goes to the place near Cranbrook. Wait, where's the oil sand? This? Wait, that produces fuel as well. Ooh. Oh, I see. Should have gone to spec savers. Oh. Five mil. No, you start with a five mil loan. The game starts you with a loan, basically, of which you're paying interest. Yeah, I don't know if we can do all that at five mil. We'll have to see what the prices are. But it looks like oil sand gets converted into fuel and sand. So the potential for more fuel here. Where did we get oil sand from again? I, uh, there aren't many oil sands around. There's one there, one there, one there. Yeah, they're basically here and here. They're quite a long way away. And then, what else do I need? Tools, that's not easy to get. Goods, that's ridiculous. Food. Wait, you take grain and it produces livestock. Okay. Right, so we can't go grain to food now. We've got to go grain to livestock. Livestock to, what was it? Well, there aren't many of these around. They're all very far away. Well, hang on. There's one that converts grain to food there as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Grain to life. See, it's weird. Grain can, grain can be converted into plastic <laughs> or livestock or food. It's insane. So I guess we want... Um, Yeah, there's a lot of consumers, but they're all very different. If only I could make that column big enough. That's a food. One. Like, literally one on this side of the map, and it's here. Luckily enough, though, Ellesmere needs that food. So there is a potential here for this grain. This grain can go to here and then feed that town. And at that point, it can feed that town. So there's another connection right there, look. Well, not Scotland, Baz. Paul oil sands are very heavy crude and Canada is the world's largest producer of it from Alberta. It's mine like strip mining with trucks and shovels and it's harder to refine than drilling. The emissions from mining are triple that of drilling. That should be banned then. Canada should stop doing that. <laughs> right, so grain, turn it to food, sell it to Ellesmere, sell it to Middenhall. There's one production run right there. That will get us going as well. But I like the oil run. The oil run's never a bad thing. So let's do that. Let's start off with crude to here. Oil to there. Fuel to here. And let's try and make a profit. So we're going to need a road network to here. A road straight to there. 
and then they can take that road to here and take that road to there, then they can come back. So they should, if we can use the same wagon, if we can use the same wagon, then we can basically create a rectangle and get paid on three legs. Yeah, paid on that leg, paid on that leg, paid on that leg, not paid here. Forty Ks, sixty K road. We're not gonna be touching sixty K anytime soon. Well there goes three hundred and forty grand <laughs> out of our five million. This is gonna hurt. Be nice if they didn't have to go all that way. On a more direct route, but that's going to cost a fortune. How much would that road cost? Is that worth 178 grand? Probably is. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's do that. And then they're going to drop stuff off here. So we're going to need a uh, truck stop in here for the fuel. Oh, annoyingly, the fuel only comes in here. But if we stop like there for now. And we'll create an extra street for them. We'll spend 17 grand on their town just to make life easy for us. You're building the medium road? Yeah, the one that does 60. Correct. Can't do 60 yet, but, you know, when we can. Bankruptcy incoming. We will see. We're going to have to live with this wiggly road for now. We haven't got the cash. Let me um, create a road depot. Dude, I don't need to be told how to play the game. Seriously. Advanced. Can you turn the tutorial off? Is there any way to turn it off? You can't disable it. <laughs> what were the devs thinking? Every time you start a game. I mean, you start a game on hard difficulty and it's telling you that you should put something down. I mean, really? It's an interface. Where is it? Bottom of interface. Enable guide system. Is that it? There you go. Thank you. What were you saying, Baz? It annoys you. What? Well, you can't get alone in hard mode. Borrow 500. Yes, you can. What are you on about, Baz? Have you played this game? <laughs> right, truck. Truck station. Let's put that here. I think Baz is playing a different game to me. That new button wasn't there before. Okay. And let's put that back off the road. I think it's a good idea to set these back with, with hindsight. I think this is a better thing to do. Because it gives you tr gets your trucks off the road and gives them a bit of a run in. That'll have to do for now. It's in catchment. Um... Just gonna quickly upgrade that road. Twenty grand. It's not ideal having a big crossroads here, but it'll have to do. This you can make a different exit if you want to. We'll keep it cheap initially, but we could make a different exit that goes that way. So they like come in this way and then go out that way. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight cheaper there for some reason K 
Okay. And then we want another one over here. Let's put that. Okay, apart from actual vehicles, I think that's all we need. By the time, by the time the horse and car has made that journey, the automobile will come out. <laughs> um, right, five vehicles. I just want to see what we've got for cargo. So what are our options? So they take... Hang on a minute. I've never understood this. Never understood why you'd want that over there, apart from a style thing. Maybe just a flatbed. Anyway, that will take oil. That will take fuel. That will take crude. So that that will do everything, which means we can just create one. We just have them on one route, effectively. Ran Brook. Crude oil. Fuel. Right. You want to go here, to here, to here, to here. You want to color so I can actually see you. Like that. <clears throat> right. When you get to Cranbrook West. You're definitely waiting for a full load. You're not you're not going without a full load. That's a long, long way to go without a full load. <laughs> Although initially that won't make any sense because we can't. So we'll drop one truck in. Okay, what we want to do is we wanna load up on crude. When you get to dis east. You want to load up on oil. When you get to Cranbrook North, you want to load up on fuel. And then when you get there, you're just going to unload everything. And then you come back. That's the deal. Let's build. Okay, let's unpause. So, having spent $1.2 million, we now have one horse and cart doing the thing. Go us. Let's see. So, dis oil refinery. No, that one, not this one. That one. Dis oil refinery here is now recognized as a consumer. They don't know about that yet because they've not got any stuff. Okay, let's speed it up. This is going to be here forever. Whoa, look at all this crude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, I don't even knew you were going to produce that much crude so quickly. What the heck, man? It's going to cost me money here. Okay. In that case... I am going to change it to wait till full. Let's get some more vehicles going. Who's squeaking the bike horn? Denver Colt. 15 subs. Thank you so much. Loads of new subs in there. Happy Sunday to you. He didn't assign the vehicles. I was just waiting to see if you'd notice, obviously. Jeez, man. Well spotted. Have a cookie. Denver Court, mate. Thank you for gifting 15 subs. Thank you for the squirrel gift chat. And yeah, please give him a thank you if you got one. Refresh your page. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the animated emotes.
I can't keep up with the amount of crude they're making. This is nuts. Still, we should get paid. There's something that irks me slightly about this. You can carry five barrels, but on the back it's got eight. It's just slightly irritating. I don't know how many vehicles to buy. It kind of feels like... It kind of feels like we need loads more. They're just spitting out the oil. These guys are like, yay, let's go. <laughs> Turn the drills on, boys. PS4 Gamer, thank you for 78 months. Uh, Debt, thank you for eight. Tree Snapper. Why are you snapping trees, bro? Thank you for half a year. Pretty much. I'm just going to bankrupt Konnichiwa, myself. Konnichiwa, Squirrel Sand. Good morning, Mr. Squirrel. Hope you are well. I'm well, D-Storm. Thank you, mate. I had a good sleep last night. We can't keep up with it. There's just too much going on. Let's, let's see what's going on down here. Now, he's going to end up waiting. Because he's going to be waiting until full, isn't he? So he's going to have to wait a little bit for this thing to kick. Oh, that needs two. <gasps> you can't wait till four, bro. You can't. It's unlikely you'll get to four because two into one. Let's put it on half load. Full load. Wait, you can't. No, we can put it on half load, can't we? 50%. It can wait for half. When it's all up and running, we don't even want that, though. Maybe we should have some dedicated crude oil runners. Just because the amount of crude that we need to do this. Might be an idea, you know. Maybe like half of this, like, because you need twice as many for that run as you need for that and that run. I uh, just need to make sure there's demand for the oil. That's all. PS4 Gamer, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Thank you very much, mate. Squirrel gifts. <laughs> Please give me a thank you, guys. Yeah, look, he's just going to wait for a while. Appreciate the support. Thank you. And if you got a sub, give him a thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to remove it, though, because it means they're going to drive, like, that entire section of track. It's going to take him forever. What's he on? He's on one of five. Come on. It doesn't take that long to refine crude. This is a catch-22 now. Joseph. Yeah, exactly. They can't drop off. It's annoying. Joseph, thank you very much for dropping five sub as well. Appreciate your support, guys. Very generous. I think we're going to have to have a dedicated crude run. We'll call it Cranbrook Crude. Hopefully using the second platform. No, you're not. Nobody knows why.
Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna turn that off. Lose a load of money. Change to forty percent load. You reckon that'll help? It's <clears throat> it's annoying because they can only carry five units. Half of that is two and a half, and they can't get two and a half. Okay, well, at least he's got some. If you set them to... Wait a minute. If you set them to wait till full, but you only set 50% in here, when they get to 50%, will they just immediately leave? They will, won't they? You start the game in debt, mate, so you can't help but be in debt. Celebratory bunting. Um, Mr. Ham Hamlidge, I don't know how to say your name. Thank you for a thousand bits. It's very kind. Thank you. I do feel a bit slow, yeah. See, because he's going to come in now with one level of oil, which is a bit pants. And he's going to be waiting. I'll just time to go. There's not enough control here. You can set the level, which is fine if you want to do like split consist, but what you can't do is like wait for a certain amount. Wait for a minimum is what I would like. Like basically wait for this amount of time or this much like stuff. I need more control. Astronauty. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, the minimum stop time won't help that much either. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never used that. Astronauty, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, minimum stop time would help. Actually, no, it won't help because then if, they, if they've got enough to fill up straight away, they're just going to sit there anyway, aren't they? Because of the minimum stop time. If I say, wait till full minimum stop time a minute and they fill up are they just going to move or are they going to wait for a minimum a minute what does it say it doesn't say anything minimum stop time before departure yeah so that won't help they will sit there for a minute with a full load Dedicated line is going to load up fuel from the refinery. I don't think it will. It has no destination back again. It shouldn't do. I hope not. Stations this Cranbrook North. Oh, you <sighs> like one pixel away removes the line. Just lost a whole lot of oil due to trying to click that and click that. How frustrating is that? That just cost a lot of money. 
man, that's an interface nightmare, that is. Right, load up on fuel. Restart the game, then. Now he's just coming back in, and his finances are just about in profit. It's just a design issue, like having an X so close. Look, it's literally one pixel split there. There's not even a gap. It's just dangerous. You shouldn't have all these operations right next to a delete. The delete should be like over here where there is no operation. Because you're working to click that all the time, but you're if you want to delete, you should have to come over here. That's how I would do it. What do I know? There's a lot of crude. I think we can stick more trucks on the old crude run. Well, a confirmation would get very annoying. That's why they don't have it. Every time we did this, it was confirmation. You want to go delete, 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 delete. Like I've done a few times, it would get very irritating. You just need to put the delete action in a different place. Uh, NZ, thank you, mate. Thank you for using the Games Planet link. 50% off on Games Planet at the moment. It's got no oil. But by the time they get there, by the time they've got over there, they should be able to... Um, yeah, he just about broke even, but I don't think these did because they didn't have any fuel because I deleted it. Rip their finances. Well, we burned through half the five million loan. <laughs> Just got to try and make this profitable. I don't know. Fint Dog, I have no idea where we'll put the headquarters. It's not even an island. We'd have to build an island here and put it there. Nah, I don't, Baz. I don't want to live with all the riffraff. I want to live on an island on my own. <laughs> okay. Well, there should be some oil up here when they get there. So they should be able to fill up no problem. There won't be much in the way of fuel. When the first one gets in there, there won't be any fuel. For him to fill up on, so load up available. I can go back to 100% now. top of a mountain yeah i don't think there's that because we didn't go for particularly high places there are a few though they maybe like sat here just perched on top there cut some trees down and just look over our kingdom <laughs> like mordor <laughs> the black gate <laughs> we started it an hour ago 
Zoom me. Yeah, they've got enough. We need to add a few more into that chain now. So where's the last one? Chuck another six out now, we should time with that nicely, I reckon. So they can um they can run that leg in the time it takes one in the time it takes one truck to go there and back. Another truck will have gone there, there ish to here. So there's no danger. We just need to keep our eye on these numbers. There has to be enough of these to keep that circuit going. Effectively. <laughs> yeah, we managed to get the seed as McDonald's. <laughs> We're playing around with different seed names and McDonald's worked okay. Transporting 29%. That is pretty poor. Forty-five crude. That's enough for six. Where are you? You're here. There's one here. Okay. We want to. We've almost got the circuit going properly. Hopefully, we can start turning a profit soon. Tell you what. Why we're not? Don't need that money. Let's not pay interest on it. Ooh, profit. Uh, why don't you have two lines on the same crude platform? What? Why what? Why don't you have the two lines on the same crude platform? Um, oh, I see what you mean. Right, I have min here. I suppose there's good and bad in it, but it would kind of make sense to do that, wouldn't it? It does mean they're all holding each other up, but it then also means that the crudes go into one line. I don't know. You can't load as quickly. That's the downside. Not sure. It depends how much contention there is. It's be better to keep it as two, I think. My gut feeling is to have two. We'll see. Oh, you know what? I forgot to adjust that. Half speed. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, we didn't put the date speed down to half. I don't want it smashing through the calendar. Yeah. The, the pros and cons, like, if you put them all on the same line, then every vehicle, only one can load at a time. The downside of having two is that you're splitting your consist over two different platforms. And can you really keep up the transportation on both? There's no right answer. Just a balance. I like how it counts my earnings as like spending two million dollars <laughs> paying off a loan. Which is correct, but it's kind of hard to see the profit now. I really don't want to be losing oil. 
like crude is just being produced for free, but oil is costing us to produce, so we don't want to lose that. Find it all this time scale works. It's a game. It's not super realistic. It, it, yeah, if you look at it from that point of view, it's weird. Like, why does a truck take days to drive down a road? Well, we have slowed time down. You can slow it down even more, but I tend to find half speed is nice. Well, Ajax, when the trucks come, we'll have to upgrade. One thing I always got annoyed about this game is it never shows you what's coming. Like, it would be really nice if under here, it had a ghost image of things coming in like in the next five to ten years, just so you can get an idea of what's on the horizon. Paid the loan, I think. Well, our income is. Hang on, that's our value. Bank balance. Okay, so we made an income of 162, but we invested in stuff. Loan interest. Okay. If you take that out, we're making money. That's capital outlay. Just about got ahead above water at the moment. No trucks until 1890. That's a way off. Drop six in now while this one's on his way back. We should more or less have a continuous circuit going then. Two new vehicles available. Ooh, a steam train. A BR-53. Blimey. Steam account got blocked, so you can't play games. Tiff2 Born, thanks for savings. Dude, you are welcome. Thanks for using my um, my link, which I hope you did. <laughs> it's not bad, 38%. We're moving quite a bit. Nice, healthy number. How's Cranbrook doing? Oh, Cranbrook's growing. They like this fuel. Getting fuel down to Dulverton, that's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Now, Sandy wants Conmat, and there's Conmat there. But you need to bring stone and marble or sand. 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 There. Fuel? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's the oil sand run. <clears throat> Wasn't the oil sand like down here somewhere? 
Uh, one there, one there. Yeah, it's a bit far. Zumi, thank you for gifting two subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, a lot of the stuff now is going to be tricky just because of the distance is involved. This one's fuel as well, look. got three cities here Dulverton, Cranbrook and Dis all want fuel and we can make fuel here and we can potentially make it there as a side effect but that requires getting that oil sand over but the sand from that would go into this factory to make Conmet along with the marble from here so the sand and marble here will make Conmet for Sandy that's good all we need is the oil sand, which is right down here. Or here. That's realistically, that's a train. That is an actual train right there. A train that takes oil sand all the way to that factory there. <laughs> Instantly turns it into fuel and sand. The problem is, we'd have to consume both for that to work. So we need to be getting rid of the fuel, which we can, in, in Cranbrook. Or, and then the sand has to go here, with marble, and then combat to here. The problem is that there's only Sandy takes combat. Nobody else takes it in the area. Yeah, the fuel can come back to Cranbrook. The only downside is that it, it, we're selling fuel from here, so it kind of affect that supply chain. In some respects, you're better off taking it to Dis or taking it down to, um, like, take that fuel to Dulverton would be a nice idea because you kind of create a road network, which you need for passengers anyway. Or you can create the train line. You could train it back. Actually, you would because... Um, yeah, you'd have a train line that comes this way, goes past Dulverton, and then up there. And then what you can then do is, as well as you've got that industrial train line, you can use that for passenger trains. I've been enjoying hours of your content mostly on YouTube because I work on the weekends, but I feel like I should give back a little bit. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, Zumi. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. I understand streams are not easy to get to because you have to be around for them, but they are all on Squirrel Plus as well. Obviously, you're only live once, but... <clears throat> um, they're not waiting till full now, no. This is just about working now. Possibly need more crude um, trucks to come in. Possibly. Well, we're making a small profit anyway. There's a combat consumer on the right side of the map. There is a combat consumer here. Where are you thinking of the other one? There's also some simple combat there, look. Was there a stone refinery? My God, there's only three quarries. One's there. One's right next to it, and the- Oh my god. The RNG! Every stone quarry, all three of them, right there. <laughs> you scumbag game. Which means that that- Um, where's it gone? Where's that stone thing gone? Lost it now. I'm blind! I know it was here. There. That there 
is served by the stone that's over here. Oh well, it's going to happen. Steady growth from one city. Look, the bands will be going down, and then just here, the band starts going up. Just there. That's where our investment paid off. Yep, but we're on hard difficulty. Rubbly, thank you for three months. Wow, we're transporting all of that now. Nice. So the good thing is that is one to one and that's one to one. So it's only this that's two to one ratio. So as long as we keep the crude going, we'll have enough oil to keep that in profit. I wish I knew when I first started watching you on YouTube. I know that it's been more than five years, but not sure if it's been like eight. <laughs> uh, yes, we have the, it's called nat uh, natural growth. We have that mod. So the towns will develop properly. can always rely on black gold. You think I should keep one horse and cart until the horse is two years old? What, <laughs> just... Yeah, just extreme maintenance on the horse. <laughs> Trying to think where we want to go next kind of thing. I mean, we could do passenger run from Cranbrook to Sandy, but without growing Sandy... You know, because like, what's this on now? 155, 158, 300. Like, it's already getting bigger. I guess we wait for this to level up and then start shipping fuel to Dovelton. That's possibly the way to go. Just right off the back of the existing profit and just ship more fuel here. Because that's going to level up at some point. Well, yeah, we don't have money to, to spend on infrastructure at the moment, so we just have to ride a profit first. But, I mean, all of these vehicles are starting to get old. Or older. And then we have to start looking at the maintenance on them. At the moment, they're making a decent profit. We'll be adding another crude. Not until it needs it. So at the moment, we're not really... We're only taking half of that one. And it's not even leveled up. So by rights, we can push more crude through here. Actually, the demand on that's capping out, so maybe, maybe we should start linking these two. Because we can't increase that demand, but we'll have to bring that in. And that'll grow that city.
It's such a long way though, it's going to be so expensive. The new vehicle, what the heck is that? The depth tram. <laughs> what a name. So it's like 146,000 just to get to that. Suppose we can keep it cheap. There you go. So they've got a link now. So if you was dropping fuel off here, you'd want it in this district, so probably like there. Unfortunately, it has to go through town, which is a bit annoying. You've got the oil here, so why is there not enough fuel there? Just timing? Hmm. There's a new cart on that route going to go to Dalton first. I don't know. I don't want to put more draw on this right now because it doesn't have enough oil. I'm trying to work out why. Like, all these are coming in with oil. Plenty of crude. Hmm. I don't know, this is weird. So the problem is, if you want to start shipping fuel to here, you have to think, well, how does the oil get to it? So do you want to have like a truck that goes back bar, then takes oil to there, then takes fuel to here? That's a heck of a run. <laughs> In some respects, it might be better to just move some oil there and then move some fuel here. Maybe we just change the way this network works and just have them doing dedicated legs. What's leveled up? This one. Yeah. I might just split these legs up. That way they're not having to make this return journey either. Just go point to point. We've already got a crude point to point.
You like the music in this game? It is fun, isn't it? The problem I'm going to have is switching this over. I know what we'll do. I'll have to get rid of that line in a minute. Right, because what we want to do is pick up some of these trucks here and reassign them, like that one. Because it's only on this bit that they're empty. Like, if I take trucks that have got oil in them and reassign them to go that journey there, they'll have oil and they'll be like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, we started over. Mr. Kelly, thank you for four months. I've been doing mostly well, yeah. I I don't know, Mr. Kelly, I don't really have the dream car thing. Yeah, the previous map we played on normal, this one we're on hard difficulty, and we've got a more difficult set of industry mods, which makes the, the, the industry chain more complex like that, for example. Reassign that to you go and cram the coil. so bad at this game gents <laughs> hey we're not over the fence over over the uh, the line yet mate there's a lot can still go very wrong <laughs> 